My name is Karen Vincent. I have been a member of St. Paul's Episcopal Church for about 40 years, which is quite a long time. It's a special church. And today I would like to talk about the violin and the viola, my two instruments that I play and have, have been played all my life. It's been my profession. I just want to start about a short, brief history of, of the violin and how it was invented. It, it didn't really, really wasn't invented like you think of something, but it evolved. And it started out as string instruments started with, without bows. They just plucked them like the lyre. Then they added bows around the 10th century. And the first bows came from China and the Byzantine area. The oldest bowed instrument is called the rehab. And it arrived in Europe through Spain. And it was called vihuela in Spanish and viola in Italian. The next evolution came when they went to the viola de gamba. So they made them a little larger and the gamba meaning legs. So they played them by legs like a cello, only it's a viola de gamba. And the viola de braccia played with the arm up here. Um, it was a soft sound and people were getting pretty excited about this music and pretty soon they said we need more sound, more projection. We have, we have these halls that need to be filled with sound. So it, it morphed into a violin and a cello, and a violin and a viola, which I'm talking about today. The first mention of violin was around 1520, because all of a sudden here, um, you know, some composers saying, hey, let's use this. So the luthiers started really working on their special wood and making these instruments. The final version was made by Andrea Amati in Cremona, and Cremona has become the violin's special place where they have all these luthiers and they are trained, they take courses that are several years long. And it was very interesting that the first violin, as they call it, was ordered by the mother of King Charles IX of France. Now this just sounds like today, some mother ordering for their child. Now, and the violin's been part of the royal court ever since. Uh, before they had the luthiers making the instruments, the musicians themselves had to make their own instrument. So they were very pleased when they got people in this course and could make instruments. In the 17th century, violins became so essential because many, many orchestras sprung up and Monteverdi and Lully used them in compositions. And so here, what came first, the chicken or the egg? Was it the violin had to get better and then the, comp the composers saw it and so they composed for it? Or did the composers composed for something better, and so the violin became better. So which was which? By the end of the 18th century, the violin shape changed after the Baroque era, which was like 1600 to 1750. And more music was written, larger halls were there. They wanted more sound, more strength, more intensity. And so the luthiers modified the necks and the bridge, instead of being being so flat, they made it rounder. And they, they took designs from Amadi and Stradivarius and modified them. And that became the modern violin and it has been stable ever since then, which was the end of the 18th century. Today we have added electric violins. So that's, that's the new one on that. Now today, as we play Baroque music, um, it's, it's, a recreation, it's a recreation and a reconstruction, because we don't know exactly of what it's like. So the, but the real difference is in how they're played. The modern is more forceful and declamatory, and the Baroque has a gentler tone. For my PBO audition, I had to play, that was the Portland Baroque Orchestra, I had to play things in certain ways, like walking down the street, or having a fab fabulous day or being very sad. And so it uses many more moods than, than the modern one does. Modern is more flashy. Um, I would like to show you the difference between the size of the instruments. This is my modern violin. This is my modern viola. You can see the difference in size and it's thicker has thicker strings and it's uh, longer and it's just, you know, it's a little more effort to play, but it's such a warm tone and I just love it. 
The Baroque instruments also used a lower pitch over, uh, over medieval times. Um, they had more forms of music, and so their instrumental became more important than the vocal. And this was so interesting because the, the, the instruments had to be able to, you know, do this. And so the pitch had, did not stay stable, and it hasn't been stabilized until 1929. But um, the violin and viola both originated in Italy. The violin plays in the treble clef with C, uh, G clef, and the viola plays in the alto clef. The viola has thicker strings. It's, uh, I'll just use this here, has thicker strings. It's wider and deeper and heavier, heavier bow, more mellow sound. And people call it, sometimes they go by color. Like, what is this music, what color does this music sound to you? And most everybody says purple, which is interesting because the word viola came from the violet, which, mean, which is purple. And um, this also had other names. They called the alto, the tenor, the braccia, and the middle fiddle. And, and the violin has another name called fiddle. But what's the difference between a violin and a fiddle? That, ends, that question comes up all over the place. The, they look the same, absolutely the same. But a violin is more uh, uh, for, it, say, serious, quote unquote, music, and the fiddle is for your country music and your dances and, uh, it, the, and it's interesting that a violin the word is a noun and fiddle the word is a verb and a noun. Um, I would like to play you a little few measures showing you the difference between how, you, how I would play a phrase in a modern style and how I play a phrase in the Baroque style. So I think I'll start with the modern first. So this is just the opening of the famous double concerto in D minor for two violins and strings. So this would be the this would be the modern way to play it, which would be more more forceful. This is my modern viola. of it these days and you're going to hear what are the same pitches on the page but will not sound the same to you because the instrument is tuned half a string lower giving it a more mellow sound and that's what it was the A440 that's the modern A was a 415 in the Baroque and 430 in Mozart's day but now we're at 415 <laughs> together playing like that, you will hear the difference in that sound. And um, thank you for listening today, and any questions, just give me a call. <laughs>